So a few extra days of the Smash Ladder content, or just you want to find a place to look for a like-minded, enthusiastic players. You know, you got them all in one spot. Yeah. And uh, of course, first up representing SoCal, it is going to be AC. Of course, this is uh, between East and West. And honestly, AC coming out from all the way from TJ San Diego area because he went to school in San Diego. I don't know where he's at right now, particularly speaking. But it's, either way, it's good to see some talent that many viewers at home will recognize as one of SoCal's finest for sure. Oh, yeah. And he's still playing Snake. I mean, ever since Snake came back in Ultimate, he's been rocking the Snake. And it's good to see, you know, he's, he's still playing. Just like, and just by uh, judging by the way he's been playing, he is not rusty at all. Look at him. You can already see he's trying to get those ledge traps, trying to bait with the mine. And then instantly turning around. Unfortunately, he misspaced the roll from uh, N. But he's still, you know, here we go. Now we got the, the mortars, and he's still going for his lead trap. And Harmonia, though, all the way back on the stage with an excellent back to take care of ACs. Like you said, the edge trap was a really good play for AC. I'm surprised we didn't see a couple grenade pulls just to try to cover the tracks in case N. Harmonia got up from the ledge that way. But uh, nonetheless, man, he's got N. Harmonia on 85, forcing him to go for the lower cover and the L fire to stop him. Yeah, but a dash attack, and once again, AC is on the hunt, and Armonia fighting their way back to the stage. Oh, here we go, the double fire! Oh, but missing the up smash. That would have been so sick, and, but regardless, tons of damage to AC. Yeah. 124, and Armonia on the 109. AC looking for an opportunity to land here, using the grenades, and immediately getting all hits of forward. And once again, here is the enemy chaser. No confirm, actually able to get him through the legend's ability. Smart play. Yeah, you gotta remember when you have that higher percent, you're gonna have less legend vulnerability. AC knew that, he took advantage of it. Neutral air hits the forward tilt. There's gonna be the play. Ooh, that's the one thing I'm enjoying about Enharmonia so far is he recognizes whenever AC's at the ledge and how well X Snake accelerates at that, so he tries to stop him in his tracks. Almost get the spike box from the L win, but nonetheless, mm -hmm. AC will be able to recover. Yeah, that's right. That's Snake, so if you try and spike and, like, blast them into the zone that way, you better make sure they go all the way down. But an explosion hitting himself and AC losing game one. And Armonia still on two stocks. Two stocks indeed. Yeah, man. AC, uh, having the rough first match, man, but we'll see, man. It's only game one. Of course, this is double elimination, so even if AC does not make it out here on this side, he will have a chance yet again. So not to worry. But yeah, I mean, what do you think of the ladder so far, Vance? We've had eight hours of Smash action. It's really, it's come down to these eight players for today. Yeah. Uh, honestly, a very good showing of the first day. A couple of names that are recognizable there, of course, are players like AC and Armonia Sharp and Epic Gabriel. So it goes to show that even other players around the world in general are just really interested in seeing the slatter go all the way through. But uh, now it's gonna be game two now. And I'm running with the first point on the board. Sorry, I'm gonna swap the names here real quick for you guys. Yeah, but AC starting out very passive, immediately dipping to the ground, knowing that most of the most of the ranged attacks that Robin has at that distance are going to be horizontal and Snake can low profile over all of them. Okay, but restoring some of that lost percent with the Nosferatu. And Levin Sword coming in clutch again. Wow, these, these misspaced attacks from AC are really adding up to, on damage for Enharmonia. Yeah. This time, I like how he's changing up his plays, though. He doesn't go for the double up smash, particularly because he's looking to see how much he can get Enharmonia. And like you said, the low profile is super important, especially if you're trying to dodge Arc Fire, L Thunder. I'm sorry, not Arc Fire in general, but just L Thunder. Arc Thunder, mm -hmm. any of those opportunities that you would think you might get hit by one of those moves. Snake has an excellent low profile. What an excellent empty hop. Speaking of the devil, man, looking to mix things up against Enharmonia. Yeah, definitely looking to see what the tech chase was going to be, whether it was going to be a neutral get up attack. If it was attack, it was easy punish. If it was roll, easy punish. That short hop, short empty hop was so smart from AC. And look at that. He Unfortunately, he's just not able to close out these stocks, though. You see him making, like, so many smart plays, but Enharmonia is just sticking to his game plan, and the game plan is really just to keep Snake out, which usually is the position that he wants to be in. 
and it's just working out for this projectile war. Yeah, and Armonia has a really good understanding of the way that Snake works with grenades particularly, so he knows that if he's going to be hitting Snake, it's going to be after a confirm, it's going to be after the arc fire, after the arc counter. He doesn't want to go in there with a neutral air or forward air on Snake's shield or any opportunity where he might set off the grenades. Like, like so, he takes his time with the patience. He'll go for a jump, gets the Thoron, gets the hit, and still knows, you know what? If I overzealous here, I might lose advantage. So he's not going to fight his way out to center stage yet. Getting a little overzealous right there with the down air at the ledge, though. It's kind of dangerous, especially with Snake. You know, you're not going to be able to really spike him at that distance. Uh, around 50%, which is where he, he was at. But AC, with the offstage play, just continuing to hunt an Armonia down and getting uh, another stock. Yeah. Uh, pretty solid landing for AC. Not too many grenade makes us no C4. And like I said, if an Armonia is going to go win, it's most likely going to be after a confirm. He wants to make sure that he's just not sending off grenades and he's not in a situation where Snake can actually escape that via our grenade like he tried to go for with Nosferatu. Mm -hmm. Get more trades, and of course, being a heavy, these trades are going in AC's favor. But Enharmonia, of course, sticking to the game plans. Chill in the corner, and let's just chuck element after element at your opponent. Yeah, oh. Oh. Even getting the reset from the grenade and getting double up at Eleven Sword, that's a ton of damage. We, Eleven Sword already does a great amount of damage with one hit. Just think about how much damage it's going to do with two hits. Yeah, and it does meet the threshold where it's able to actually hit Snake out of the. Oof, I was going to say, out of the Cypher. All right, and Armonia forced to go for different recoveries. He has to dip a little bit low to avoid that. But the up smash and the arc fire back on the stage and Armonia with the 2-0 over AC. Wow. I mean, I got to look at the stats, but I'm pretty sure that's considered an upset. Quote me if I... Oh, no, it's not. No, yeah, no, it, it is. Because uh, okay, okay. Armonia came in with a with a win rate of 